Welcome back, everybody, in this morning's For Your Family. A word of caution for parents of young athletes, especially hockey players. The rate of concussions in children is rising at a dramatic rate. Take a look at this. Some doctors here locally say they are seeing the highest number of concussions in youth hockey players this year than ever before. And the concussion rate for a young player is nearly as high as professional players. Dr. Jeff Mayanis specializes in pediatric and adult sports medicine at Midwest orthopedic at Rush. He joins us here this morning to answer some very important questions on this subject. Good morning. Good morning. Very Thanks. good to have you here. Thanks for having me. I, you know, I imagine it is very disturbing for parents of young young kids, and I have kids who play sports, to hear these numbers. Um, but what you are really seeing in the explosion of numbers and concussions is in youth hockey players. How young are we talking about? I mean, I've been seeing concussions now down to seven, eight years of age. So I'll have, I'll have hockey players come in who are eight years of old, eight years old with a concussion. And is there a theory behind why we are seeing more concussions? Well, it's a good question. I mean, you know, part of it could be that we that people are more aware, so they know that when their child does get hit in the head and they have headache or dizziness or trouble remembering things that they might have a concussion and so they'll bring them in. Um, I also think the awareness just when we see NHL players, Sidney Crosby, mm. um, our heroes kind of come out, um, then a lot of times parents will think as well. But um, we are wondering, you know, we, we see, we're seeing kids playing hockey and similar sports at younger and younger ages, so that may also have to do with the fact that concussions are on the rise in this age group. Now, some athletes might say, well, concussions have always happened, you know, and, and you might think actually kids, well, kids heal faster from all kinds of things, but not true when it comes to concussions. No, I think that's a common misconception. I actually often see parents who say, well, they should get over this faster, shouldn't they? But I think it's the opposite, actually. Kids seem to, kids definitely take longer to clear concussions. Uh, and so where the average adult might take a week or two to actually finish with their symptoms and become symptom free, uh, kids can take twice that long, if not more. Wow, okay, so you really have to be careful in terms of putting the child back into playing sports after they suffer from a concussion. Definitely, in fact, returning to sport too quickly is probably the number one risk factor for developing a, a complication from a concussion. And that could be either prolonging the symptoms or something that we call post-concussive syndrome, which is symptoms lasting for months, or the dreaded uh, second impact syndrome where they actually can die on the ice. Wow, let's talk about the symptoms. You know, something that parents should be looking for if your child is playing. What are some of the signs and the warning signs of a concussion? Well, the most common uh, symptom is the headache, uh, but that that's also can be followed by dizziness. And then you can have everything from difficulty concentrating and remembering. Um, some things that you know we ask patients to definitely worry about or, or watch for are if their headache is worsening, they have persistent vomiting, um, they're acting funny. Um, symptoms just seem to be worsening in those first in that first day or so. Uh, they should actually go to the emergency room. Sometimes it could be a more significant injury. And, and something else I found very interesting when I was doing some research on this and, and speaking with you is it, after a child suffers a concussion, it can also impact their studying for schoolwork. Why? Um, it's, it, there's generalized slowing of thinking processes in the brain with a concussion, and that definitely takes time to come back online. It's like a computer that goes mm -hmm. down and has to come back online. And if you're doing a lot of studying, if you're doing a lot of any, any mental activity that requires concentration, um, you actually can worsen your symptoms. And quickly, we do want to mention there is a tool to help families. It's not, you know, it's not the perfect solution, but you do recommend a baseline testing for, for some of these young players. You know, I, there, there are uh, testing that can be done on the computer, and if you're going to do it after a concussion, the best thing is to actually have a baseline before the season so that we can compare apples to apples. Very good information. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. Um, all of us should know, if you, especially if you have young kids who are playing sports. And again, about that baseline testing, there is an organization locally offering free baseline testing for young hockey players for the next two weeks. We have a link on our website that will have more information on that. You can also find more extensive information on concussions on abc7chicago.com under For Your Family. We'll be back with weather and traffic right after this.